If you have a soft or spongy brake pedal, you may have air in your system. If you've bled the brakes at the four wheels and you still have the spongy pedal, it is possible on these Fords to have air in the ABS system or master cylinder, and I'm going to show you how to bleed those. You can do this without removing the air intake tubing. I'm just showing you how to do it because it does make it easier. You certainly don't have to remove the air box and the intake tube. You can access all this without doing that. It just makes it easier to see to have it gone. So these are 13 millimeter. And there's four of them. Make sure they're all 13. They're all 13. And then there's two on the front. And they also appear to be 13. So what we're going to do, we're going to pump up the brake and then holding the brake compressed, we're going to crack these loose, then tighten them, let go of the brake, give it a few seconds, pump up the brake again, hold the brake, crack it loose. If there's air in there, the air will come out. If there's not, then we'll just see fluid coming out. This goes a lot quicker if you've got two people wanting to push the brake for you. But you see what I've done is just put a clamp there to hold the brake pressed. So this would be the one person method if that's all you got. Alright, the brake is pressed. Got this rag here just to catch anything that comes out fluid wise. You don't want to get on your paint. See, I've got fluid coming out, no air. Flare wrenches are nice that they grab on, but they are a pain sometimes maneuvering compared to just a regular wrench. I reset the brake pedal, pressed it down again, and holding it with the clamp. Let's see what comes out of here. Fluid. Or sometimes you need a wrench like this because you just can't get the flare wrench in there on the right angle. Get steady stream of fluid. The next place is on your master cylinder. And same as before, pump the brake pedal up. I'm just going to crack the line and see if the air comes out. Now if your master cylinder filled up with air at some point because you let it run too low and usually when you crack these lines you'll hear like a psh as the air comes out. Last possibility is the bleeder valve on the master cylinder. I'm going to hook my hose up. Two out. Time to 
getting nothing but fluid. This is the 2010. You see the orientation is a little different, but the premise is exactly the same. Pump the brake pedal, hold it down, crack it loose, see if air or fluid comes out. Once fluid is coming out, then you can close it up. You want to make sure you close it up before you let off the brake pedal. All right, we're going to see if we can activate the ABS. using four scan. Alright, so you can. The problem is they want you to be opening the valves and bleeding while you're doing this instead of... <laughs> I thought it would just kick the ABS on for a couple seconds like what you see on the... I don't want to say cheaper scan tools because they're the thousand dollar scan tools that will activate your ABS. This one is running it constantly and it's not allowing me to stop which is kind of bothersome. So I guess you can do the bleed there if you're ready to go from wheel to wheel while you're doing it. <laughs> it's more involved than what I was expecting.